It was super cool to visit CYRK or Cirque in their underground Berlin studio. We had a deep conversation about style and image, inspiration, competition and politics, musical concepts such as beat making, using dissonance and vocals, and some super geeky technical stuff. I'm Sam. And I'm Pascal. Together we are Cirque, Techno Electro Project. Live project. We also happen to be a couple. I think we just inspire ourselves with just like jamming with machines. Or we would either start with a modular patch and see what comes out, or he sits on a synth. Once we have an, one idea, then we start building up. Uh, I would say influences also musically from other people. I would say Detroit a lot and electro techno. Yeah, we hear know. something, maybe we listen to an album and somehow get an idea and then we go to the studio and kind of remember this idea and reconstruct something but in a different way and something completely different comes out. But sometimes it can be something we hear or like we were at a club and we, we hear a track or and somehow that's a memory that kind of sticks but like abstract can be a starting point. Also a lot of uh, ideas come from the machines when we jam, We're just messing around and something happens. Sometimes it's kind of conceptual, like I would like think of a modular patch, something I didn't do before, I just have like an idea of a modulation or to modulate something in a way I didn't do it before and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if it works, I might have a good starting point. I would say 95% of the times we don't like vocals. We did this track with Christine, Uzibio, great singer by the way. The idea was to do something like inner city, like, a, like super old school house, Detroit-y. Yeah, but I think it's pretty much the only track with vocals. Uh, yeah. We did like one or two electro tracks where we just found some spoken words and just like pitched them down and yeah, used like a lot of effects on it. It can be interesting to use vocoders. We didn't do it that much lately. No. Still like stuck on the idea because I really like vocoders, but it's also hard not to sound too cheesy. I think it depends on how, to, how you use it, but it can be extremely cheesy. Oh, yes. To get it right is not easy. At some point, I was into uh, playing in bands and I kind of tried to learn a bit more keyboard. Our creative process when it comes to finding melodies and harmonies, it's basically a lot of trying. And once it sounds good and right, it should be right. Especially with a modular or a circle and sequence, we use a scale and then just play with it and change the scale maybe in, in the middle of the track and see what it does. But it's like a lot of, it's more a conceptual approach, I would say. Yeah, I really love dissonance. I, I really prefer also to work with unquantized sequences. So you're always between like two notes and you, you never hit the note exactly right. And then you have the slight dissonances and the track starts to float and it's slightly off, but it somehow works. It has to be dissonant somehow. Yeah, We're always dissonant. Yeah, I mean, I like noise, basically. Yeah. I like noise, I like disturbing stuff. Anything can be a rhythm somehow. I used to play drums also. So. I usually program beats. Sammy is also pretty good with when it comes to drum pads. He would like play with the MPC and just find something like this while I'm more into programming and shifting around. And it all depends on you know, the result we want to have. For me it's very easy to just play something and just like have a groove like that. By trying it's faster than sometimes just play the record and, da -da 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 and then it's it, that's it. I'm totally into polyrhythms just like the easiest to, to program actually. I would just set up the, the sequencer length on, on each drum sound differently and then just start, start to do some polyrhythmic and then see what comes out and then if it's not right I just shift one one note and it gets like really interesting kind of hypnotic techno stuff. I think on the one hand it's kind of important to be fashionable in, the, in techno but on the other hand I find it also a bit overrated. I think in the end your music should stand out and not your looks. I think electronic music uh, became very competitive and there's a lot of politics involved like once you play in one club you cannot play the other or not for a certain amount of time also you once you release on one label you shouldn't release on the other and it kind of um, puts you already in a direction so it's a lot of politics and strategies in yeah. a way which I find a bit disturbing. Like at some point, it, everything used to be easier. Everyone played wherever he wanted, released on whatever label he wanted to release on. So only depending on the on the music people put out. And now it's more about being associated with the right ones. The people who really matter in the scene, uh, they don't think like that. Actually, they over that, which is pretty nice. I think we would need more groundbreaking stuff. 
everything is a little bit oversaturated at the moment. It's like too many people in the game. I would like to see like some really cool, new, interesting artists that do something completely different. Well, it should be more about the content and less about the attitude and the looks and all the how you know. And I think a lot of people lack content. For me, the most, the most important is like the content and the rest, who cares? I mean, but apparently a lot of people care more about the rest than the actual content. Image is everything. Yeah, image and marketing. But again, there is a counter scene where all that doesn't matter. It's all about music and content and it's pretty good. And yeah, I have this feeling also that the techno scene is a dividing somehow. There's like the, the big mainstream and somehow the smaller music lover scene, smaller clubs, with smaller lineups, more interesting music, where it's like more about like interesting stuff, which I find like pretty exciting. Yeah, there's something that we are lucky in Berlin. There are a lot of clubs that actually offer like that kind of sound, which is like actually interesting. Maybe it's not always groundbreaking because well, it's always reinventing the wheel somehow, reinterpreting the wheel. It's a lot of interesting parties and labels and DJs and artists at the moment in here in Berlin, which. That's something really cool about Berlin, I have to say. We have the chance to see so much cool, inspiring music. There's something interesting happening almost every week. You just have to look for it.